Okay, because when you look at brain activity, here's the brain activity for someone who doesn't have any reading problems. Okay, what do you notice about this brain? Here is the right side, here's the left side. Which side has more activity? The right or the left? Yeah, that's the typical picture of somebody who doesn't have any reading problems. The left side is supposed to do most of the work. So it's supposed to have strong activity. Here's a typical model to say, here's some of the major areas of the brain that are involved in these language skills. You've got that phonological perception happening in here. You've got that auditory being connected to a motor, because these are some fibers that run all the way up here to the front. This is the part that actually moves your mouth to make your mouth say words. This is the part back here that plays a big role in meaning. But no, the brain's really not yellow, blue, and green. And no, it's not this simple that one part does one function. It's really much more of a distributed network. This is an fMRI meta-analysis, which means 25 fMRI studies combined together. And you see the blue dots are where their brains are active when they're being asked to make judgments about phonology. The green dots, they're making judgments about sentence and syntax. The red dots are judgments about meaning. So can you find that one meaning area now? Can you find that one phonology area? Or is that one blue area that is just perceiving sounds? It doesn't exist, because the brain's actually distributed networks of information. It's supposed to be spread across the language cortex. Now, it is a region specific, because it's not all back here. And it's not much actually up here. It's right through this primary language and speech cortex areas. So when the brain's working efficiently, those parts are supposed to be doing most of the work. So again, here's that normal reading child. Strong activity on the left side. What do you think the brain activity looks like in a child who has dyslexia and is struggling to read? Say it again. Okay, here's the picture. What do you see now? Where's the activity for the child who's struggling with reading and language? Right side or left side? Right side. Yeah. Here's that right side, much, much more activity here. Left side, much less activity. Okay. Which tells us this is the part that's supposed to be hardwired for language, but this child's trying to use this part because this part is less efficiently wired. And I'm saying that literally. We literally have evidence to say it's wired less efficiently. I'll show you some more data about that. But here's the big picture to say just activity patterns. More active in the right, and the, brain, the kid's brain's trying the best they can to do the reading, but the right side's not really supposed to be doing reading. The right side's really more geared towards music, mathematics, judging pitch and tone or uh, emotional connotation in your voice. 